Can someone please tell us why I'm the most impulsive person ever? Ever. I'm so impulsive. Like, let's, let us just explain to you how it feels in my head, right? If I get my mind set on something, like if I think of something, all of a sudden I start thinking of... Ugh, for example, The Office. This is where we've been impulsive this time round. I didn't really have an issue with The Office. I mean, it wasn't the best, but it was functional, so I just left it. And then Sean came in the other day and he was like, do you like The Office? And I was like, no. And he wanted to reroute out the Wi-Fi and then he was like, I just don't think your desk's suitable, your storage solutions, like it just doesn't work. And I was like, I agree with you, but like, it's not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. But then in my head, I was like, no, no, like he's got an actual point. Like I don't like the desk. I don't like the colour of the desk. I don't know why I decided black furniture was good when I've actually always liked white furniture. And then I have a bit of black and white furniture and it's not functional. I can't store things properly. I'm in here all of the time and I don't feel great about the space. And my head just started playing over and over and over everything I hate about the office so it got to the point I woke up this morning and I was like I hate the office now I hate the office so what am I going to do about it well I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some new furniture and I'm gonna get rid of all the old furniture so maybe in the most impulsive little bitch you've ever met in your entire life has get, well I'm gonna give me mom the furniture she wants out of the office that's currently in I'm gonna try and sell the black desk I've bought a white desk I'm going to Ikea at night I've got a click and collect to get some pigeonhole unit things and I'm just like why am I this type of person why but once my mind decides something I cannot settle I get frustrated I get angry I get like in a rut I get really really overwhelmed so the office is getting done and the first issue that I don't like I had a rug down and I put this awful 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 tape down with a rug and it's left this horrible disgusting mark which i cannot get rid of i've been scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and it ain't coming off <sighs> had work to do today that i've just put on the back burner because i'm like the office needs sorting <laughs> i hate me i am frustrated i hate myself okay guys so i'm just sitting down to watch the poundland how do they do it with me in so i just want to explain a little bit so i got the opportunity to be part of this documentary when channel 5 reached out to us they basically had seen my youtube playlist on poundland and seen i'd done lots of videos on poundland and knew that I liked them and they'd kind of asked like my experience and I got they got in contact with us through my YouTube videos and then I went and had a full day filament at the biggest Poundland in Middlesbrough and it was so good I got to meet the Poundland PR team it was just a really fun day it's just really exciting to be part of something on telly but it's also a little bit nerve-wracking because obviously when I'm doing any videos for my channel I edit it I know how I come across I know how like I look but on this I don't have a clue how I come across how I look what they've kept in what they haven't kept in so I am a little bit apprehensive about how it's going to turn out but the team at channel 5 were really lovely so I have high hopes that it's going to be good and I have seen the other series so this is like a series they've done like Deliveroo how did they do it I think they've done an Ikea one they've done quite a few of them and they've all ended up being really good so I'm just hoping that this one's the same it's on there we are guys and I've seen like three times coming up the escalator you know <laughs> nah <laughs> needed the angles <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> what you creased it? I'm representing myself as a brand at these events, but also creating. Oh yeah, I don't actually think my size is here for this one. What? Chins. Thanks. Fucking hell, Sean. Thanks. Don't favourite paper bag pants. <laughs> I'm glad they said that. I thought they were going to say like Poundland Super. <laughs> That might be my segment. Worth it? Excellent. On our superstar. That was great. Huh? Current situation IKEA boxes on the floor that I want put up here. It's more like it, my boys. Losing Bravo. No bar. Sean's there. He's on top of the fucking game, man. So it's a vulnerable. Fast. No! Are you serious? What did you do then, man? I tipped it down! You've done something! I haven't, it's glitched! Fucking serious, like. They won't let me fucking kill that bitch, was shite.
Get out. Eh. Yo. Get off. Oh. Just got us killed. Ooh, ran out of fucking bullets. Holy love can hurt like this. Do you love me? I'm just like being aggressive as fuck. Little twats. Yes. Your kisses burn them through my skin. Baby, I. <clears throat> Baby, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrill. <laughs> Two dusted, man. There we go, man. 22 kills. What do you reckon? 11 deaths. 8 deaths. Wow. Kill that ratio 2.75. Right, guys, it's Saturday. The last clip you've seen, which I think I filmed on Tuesday, was Sean playing on his Xbox with basically no explanation, but I just thought it was so funny. He's so funny when he plays on his Xbox, his reactions, the way he speaks, like, I just find it hilarious, although it does piss us off after a while, I'm like, well, you shut up, but I just thought I would, like, secretly record him, because I know he wouldn't act the same if he knew the camera was rolling, but I did ask him if I could post the footage, don't worry, I'm not just going to secretly record him and then post it, he thought it was hilarious, so that's what that was, I feel like it was a bit random and needed an explanation. So, as I told you at the beginning of the week, I kind of revamped the office a little bit. I'm going to show you it. I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, but yeah, I haven't really vlogged much of the week. I had two full filming days with Jess and we were filming Christmas content. So, we kind of focused on getting that done. And next week has gone from something to something else. And I feel like I need to explain. So, if you can hear a really heavy sound, my um, computer is processing a video and it's really loud. So, sorry about that. But... Next week, I was going to London. From Monday to Wednesday, I was travelling home the Thursday. And I had a full packed week in London with meeting people, events, lots was happening. And London is still happening, but it's a bit different. So, oh, my life has just gone hectic. I'm the type of person, right, who... If I get any opportunity and it's last minute, I usually turn it down. I like everything to be scheduled in. I feel like everything I have to know about in advance, it has to be planned. And my head doesn't do well with last minute things. But I got an opportunity to go to Turkey next week, which is very last minute. But it was a PR trip. And my manager, Jamie, asked us if I wanted to go. And I was kind of a bit like, it's going to be too rushed. Like, I'm meant to be in London. Like, I'll have to cancel some stuff. But then also, it's going to Turkey. I get to go on a plane. I bloody love planes. And I also got a plus one. So, I thought, well, I'll just mention it to Jess. So, I rang Jess. I talked to her. And Jess was like, please tell me you're considering going. And I was like, um, I'm not sure, you know. Thinking of all the excuses as to why I didn't want to go. And Jess was like go I was like okay do you want to come and she was like yeah so me and Jess are going to take you for 48 hours so next week I'm leaving to go to London on Monday I'm going to be in London Monday Tuesday and then on Wednesday I'm going to take you and then I'll be in Turkey from Wednesday Thursday and travel back Friday I'll be traveling back to London and then I'll be coming back to Newcastle so Next week's weekly vlog is going to be a manic one. Next week's week is going to be manic. And I'm not used to this. Like, I have turned down so many opportunities in the past, whether it be events, going away, PR trips, because I don't like things being last minute. And in this industry, it's not often you get loads and loads of notice about things. Like, things are quite last minute. And... I usually turn it down just because I'm like, no. Like, I haven't got time to sort that. I, I like me home comforts. I like... I t I t I'm a bit stressed but it's gonna be okay I'm very grateful I'm going to Turkey I can't wait like I can't wait but I'm just a bit overwhelmed but it'll be fine and I'm going to London so I need to pack tomorrow for London and Turkey so I need to pack and it's a fashion event me I'm not a fashion girl I don't know fashion so I'm gonna have to try and bring the most fashionable fashion outfit I can think of <sighs> Guys, next week's weekly vlog is going to be a mad one. And it's the start of December. It's the start of Christmas. Oh, God. Okay, as you can say, say I'm a little bit kerfuffled about that. But it's going to be fine. I'm very looking forward to it. Going away with Jess. I'm also going away with Jess in December for something else. But that is really exciting. So keep an eye out on that. This is exciting. I'm going to London. Like, like life is very exciting. I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very, very grateful. But I'm also... Ah, okay, I'm going to show you what I've done in the office because 
I changed it. You know, we give it a lift. It got a facelift. So, if you've seen at the beginning of the week, I was just whinging about it a bit. I just felt like the office didn't really have... It was a mess. It was. It was a mess. But it's not finished. And it's still a bit of a mess. But it's much better than it was. So, let us show you. So, now when you walk in, you see my hand Tim Henry. His bed is not staying there. I just put it there and he decided to sit in it. So, it's there for now. I will show you the office when it's fully done. But I'll just show you what I've done for now. I put these... So, this box I actually got sent PR from cherries which i'm gonna do a video with but this unit i got from ikea and i love it so much so all of the clothes in it are actually my depop items but it's just so neat and tidy this little box i love and it's all my washi tapes <gasps> ah! but yes yeah, so i have that and then i got these two prints on the side there i got them sent to us i need to take the like cellophane off that one because it kind of reflects and then I also got that sent to us. So they're just on there. I've kept my little gold decor piece, which I need to kind of renew. Um, I've kept this here because in the corner, I put all my lights and stuff, which kind of fits. This is my black desk, which is getting collected tomorrow. So that's good. That'll be going. But in here, so in this section, I have all my PR stuff, which I am going to be sorting out for a giveaway anyway. And then this is more PR stuff. And then, but I've organised it, so it's neat. This one here is all of my parcel supplies for when I'm packing Depop parcels. These are the things that are currently listed on my Depop. And then this is all my scrapbook supplies, which I've moved out of the living room now. And these are all scrapbooks from here to here. And then I have stickers and other bits for scrapbooks. A pair of boots. And these ones are actually empty, but it's good that I have extra storage. Oh no, this one's not empty. Oh yeah, this is um, notebooks, electronicals, bits and bobs, just things I need really. Um, so yeah hello my pup hello you're so handsome oh kisses are you kissing each other are you kissing oh look at you you are stunning you are so pretty you're like a swan oh, and you're so handsome we're going we're getting excited for christmas aren't we guys we are we are kisses kisses <laughs> um this black box i'm actually gonna keep i was debating what what do you want, my lover? My lovely girl, what do you want? What? Look at that long neck. You're like a swan. You're like a swan. Pretty swan. Tired swan. This black box I'm actually going to keep because I think it's handy and it hides stuff. It was a lovely white box that I decided to DIY black. Bad decision, shouldn't have done that because now it looks a bit, a bit of a mess. But anyway, this is Christmas presents that I'm going to take up to the pink room just bits of PR stuff. This is um, like cards and where I keep me wrapping paper and supplies. I also stuck these here, which I got sent as well. And I love them. I think they're really nice. So I've got these prints here as well. I need to move the stuff off the windowsill. Um, that was just a bag from some Christmas presents. I still keep in this mirror. I like the mirror, I need it. But I got a new desk, which I really like. They're all Christmas presents down there. But yeah, so I'm just exporting that video on main desk. But I've got a new desk. Ignore the bin because I've been sorting stuff. So it's got two drawers. It's got a little shelf. It's got a bigger shelf here, which fits me printer. And then another shelf. And then on here, I've got my wax burner, my lamp. And it's just a nice desk. It's white. I think it looks cleaner. That's my parcel opener, which actually goes on here. Um, and then I have my whiteboard. Still got this. Still the same background. But I just think overall, you know, no. so overall, I just feel like the office is a lot better and I do love it, but I just need obviously to get the table and everything out, but I do love it. I love coming in the office again now. It's kind of revived that spark, which is nice. My grandma is coming over tonight. I'm going to go and collect that in a minute. Grandma's coming over tonight and we're going to have some food together and it's just going to be a nice night okay guys grandma is here now we've had a lovely evening um i cooked tea we've just been having a good chat we had the fire on and grandma loves when we put the fire on so yeah she's just in the living room watching a program i'm just quickly finishing up the edit for this week's weekly blog and i wanted to announce the giveaway winner so i've screenshotted the comment and replied direct to it lauren may m a i lauren may Lauren May Vlogs. This comment on the screen is the winning um, comment of this week and I will send you out a full PR package. If you could please email me or messages on Instagram so I can get your address and everything like that. Congratulations. And well, I'm going to do 
uh, give away all through December on the weekly vlogs just because it's a nice way to kind of give some people a nice surprise in December. So this week's weekly vlog, make a comment that's relevant to the video and has the green heart emoji on it it will be included in the giveaway you can also have an extra entry if you follow us on instagram um so i will be checking for that as well because i will give you extra entries and i will announce on next week's weekly vlog the winner but yeah thank you so much for clicking on another week i'm sorry this one was a little bit boring just a little bit everyday type thing um but next week should be an exciting one because like i explained a lot is going on and i'll see you shortly for another video bye